Dave Palumbo here with Muscle Fish. And guys, I know you love to see the Monster Fish tank, the 600 gallon tank. I know you guys have been asking for more. I haven't given you an update lately. The fish have gotten a lot bigger. Let's take a look and see what we got and let's give them some food because they are hungry. I wasn't here in the office yesterday and it's Sunday and uh, look at them, they're, they're, they're swarming. They're looking good though. I gotta say, you know, it's very hard to keep this tank clean. I have two FX6s on here, Fluble FX6s, uh, that filter this tank, and it's so big and they produce so much waste that I'm always doing water changes. I, I just did a half water change on here actually the other day just to kind of get the, uh, raise the oxygen content, get some of that waste out of there. And they seem to be a lot more vigorous now. Uh, if you look, everyone's ready to go here. The arowana's, when the arowana doesn't eat, I know that it usually that, that means the water needs to be changed. I'd still like the water to be a little clearer. It's really hard with this tank. Like I said, I have to do almost water changes daily and I just don't have the time to do that. But everything's grown. As you can see, this is probably our biggest Oscar now, which was our smallest. He's our, uh, our long fin Oscar, uh, albino red tiger. Um, probably my favorites are the two ruby red albino tigers. And then we have the just the regular red tiger Oscars. Uh, obviously, he has our albino clown knife, one of my favorites. Uh, probably the fish that has grown the most in this tank is the albino channel cat, as you can see. This guy is a vacuum cleaner. He'll eat anything and everything that, that's available for him. There's not one piece of food that could ever be left on the bottom of that guy in there. Our red spotted gold severum has gotten huge. Um, he's just, uh, I didn't even know severum has got that big to be honest with you, and I think he's still growing. I'm pretty sure of it. Somehow our, our, our golden Jack Dempsey in the back there uh, survived, and he's, he holds his own. His buddy didn't make it. We have our leopard uh, catfish back there and shovel nose cat. He he kind of uh, hangs out in the backdrop, but he seems to eat because he, he's still growing and he's getting big and not a problem. Now, if you look, our albino Paku is getting a little, he's aggressive now because he knows that there's food coming and he's fighting with the albino channel cat. He's probably the biggest, he definitely is the biggest and, and certainly weighs the most of any fish in that tank. He, it, I almost feel like he's too big for the tank, which I never thought I'd ever actually say with this tank. I, I warned my wife, Amanda, who's filming now, that he was going to get too big. And, of course, we have the two albino iridescent sharks. They actually look a lot like the albino channel cats, if you look. Um, because they kind of, they are kind of in the catfish family. People don't realize that they're really not sharks, obviously, but they have the shark-like look. They're huge as well, and uh, they're, they're, when people come in here, I think they're the favorite fish most people see when they come in here, just the lay person who comes in. Somehow the clown loaches are in there. There's two of them, <laughs> they hang in there. They're the smallest fish in the tank, but it's for some reason the other fish seem to like them, they don't bother them. And of course, the crown jewel of the tank is the albino silver arowana, who's kind of, I call him the, uh, the king of the tank there. So let's, let's give him some, I use the Hikari Cichlid Golds, and uh, I was originally using the carnivore sticks that are bigger, but they stink up the water so bad. Stick with these, these are big, they're not, they're not huge, but they're, they're good pellet size. The fish seem to like them, they, they fill up pretty quickly on that. Um, so I start off, once again, with a big handful of these pellets. Not too much, I don't overwhelm them. Let's get them started. You can, as you can see, that kind of gets them aggressively eating. And what I do, see, look at the cat. That catfish will go up there and he'll eat most of them. He's unbelievable. Then I go to sinking pellets. And the sinking pellets are a little small. I'm going to give a bigger handful of these. This is for all the bottom feeding fish we have, which is a lot of them. Probably half the fish we have are bottom feeders. And put that in there. It looks like a lot of food when you're first putting it in there. It's like, holy mackerel, you're going to foul the tank up. But I got news for you. This stuff will be gone in 30, in 30 seconds or two minutes, they'll eat it all. Uh, there goes the albino channel cat. He's just, like I said, look at, look at him. He's like a vacuum cleaner. He'll just eat everything and anything. And the advantage of putting in smaller pellets and more pellets is the fact that the other fish will have a chance to eat. If you just put big, huge chunks in there, the big fish will eat and then the little ones won't. Uh, as you can see, my shovel nose cat here is coming in. He's gonna, he's gonna try to take down some food now. See, there he goes. He doesn't really get a lot. <laughs> he's, not, he's not the smartest feeder. And I finish off the feeding with a once again, it's something else that floats, and they love krill. And krill is basically a small little shrimp-like, you know, type of creature. And this food 
will pinken them up. So I have a lot of albino stuff in here. When they eat this, they get a pinkish tinge to them, which is nice from the carotenoids in here. So let's open this up. The arowana loves the krill. There he goes. Yeah, he's, he's a big krill eater. And the cl albino claw knife likes it too, but look at, the, look at the arowana. He'll just stay there and just munch on it. <laughs> That's his favorite food. I don't blame him. It's like eating lobster, I guess, if you're a, you know, if you're a human. It's about as close as you're gonna get to it. So those are all the top feeders will get them. The Paku kind of is a top and bottom feeder. He'll eat where, whatever he can get his hands on. Uh, the stuff that falls down, you'll start seeing some of the mid-swimming mid fish get those, the severums and the sharks. Um, but he's usually a bottom feeding fish, the albino clown knife, and he comes up because he loves the krill. And once again, it looks like it's a lot of food in the tank, but I tell you in a couple minutes, it'll all be gone and they'll be looking for more. Uh, the arowana is just taking his time going after all this stuff and once again this is a uh, my 600 gallon monster fish tank update hope you guys liked it I know you guys wanted to see how the fish were doing they obviously have grown even bigger I don't know how much more they can grow in this tank they're starting to almost crowd each other out we'll keep you updated stay tuned